let them squeeze the dick life out of my body. There was a trap person that gave that guy that injection. Uh, it was an internal person. On Tuesday, September 12th, 2023, the Afrobeats world was stricken by the news of Mobad's death. He's dead. Mobad. Mobad. Ah. And although hospital records suggest he died as a result of ear infection, many believe there may be more than meets the eye. Well, if we want to understand what happened to Mobad, then we have to rewind back to where his problems began. Are you with me? Back in 2019, Mobad was gradually gaining fame as one of Afrobeat's emerging talents. With back-to-back -back hits, he caught the attention of Naira Marley, who signed him to Marley and Records. They say a record label gives the platform and resources for an artist to succeed. However, for Mobad, it was the opposite, and you will understand why as we continue this story. He released his first EP titled Light, shortly after signing with Marley and Records. And just like that, the songs were loved by many. It seemed like Mobad would only get better with Naira Marley's guidance. Well, that didn't turn out to be the case. In fact, that was the genesis of his problems. In 2022, Mobad, alongside Zinaliski and four others, were arrested by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in Lecky for the possession of illegal substances like MDMA and, well, you can guess it, cannabis. The whole thing blew up on social media with many videos showing NDLEA operatives breaking into the house. The videos showed law enforcement officers hitting the artistes with clubs and shooting into the air as they forced them into already waiting trucks. It seemed like a regular NDLEA raid, but Mobad's comments the next day hinted at something very different. I'm just trying to have, like I'm a bad boy. Now my mama saw all right here. I don't really mean it like that from my mind. You mean it, bro. So I don't know these people are behaving on me. Upon his release the next day, Mobad went on Instagram Live to address his fans, and well, the things he revealed were shocking. According to him, Naira Marley and the rest of Marley and Records were after his life. He claimed that they were plotting against him and were out to get him. I beg, I never started talking, don't worry. In a second video, Mobad claimed that he was going to the hospital, suggesting that he had been assaulted. <laughs> Despite all the accusations directed at Naira Marley and the rest of Marley and Records, none of them publicly came out to counter Mobad's claim. The whole issue was even more complicated since Mobad didn't clearly state why or where he had been assaulted. Just as it seemed to be the end of the drama, things took a surprising turn. You see, five days after the incident, Naira Marley shared a video of Mobad and Zinaliski on Instagram. And that raised more suspicion. Like, why would Naira Marley post a video of someone who had accused him of assault? Things simply didn't add up. But at least it seemed like whatever issue they had was somehow resolved in-house. However, Mobad's problems were actually getting worse. On October 5th, 2022, he posted a disturbing video of himself in a white singlet with injuries and bruises all over his body, including his hands, back, and neck. The video was captioned, Just because I want to change my manager, which is their brother, see what they did to me at Marley and House. Mobad was definitely referring to Naira Marley with this post, but as disturbing as the video was, what perhaps got people's attention more was his last post in the thread where he asked people to help him because he was dying inside. It was at this point that his story started generating uproar on social media, with some people calling out Naira Marley. And as you'd expect, Naira defended himself. He claimed that Mobad and three guys tried to beat his manager, and when his friends tried to stop them, the encounter became a brutal one. And he came here, he saw me in the studio, he came with like four people, no, three, there was three of them, all together with him, four. He said yo to me, yo, he sat down, see Black was in the studio, a lot of people was in the studio. Um, the other two people was with in the studio, did not even say, they did not even say anything to me, he just came to fight his manager. He substantiated his claims with evidence of one of his guys who he says was bitten by Mobot. 
He further stated that the only person that touched Mobad was he his came manager. To the studio to fight. Sunday, I told him no, but obviously it's not in the right state of mind. It's just when he sat next to me, it's just smelling of the maddest shit. But I told him it's high. Seeing Naira Marley's version of events and the comments that followed on social media, Mobad decided to give a breakdown of what actually went down at the Marleyan house on the said date. According to him, he was attacked by some boys when he went to inform Naira Marley of his decision to change his current manager, who was Naira Marley's brother. As it seems, Mobad's decision didn't go down well with the label. There's nothing surprising about some drama between an artist and his record label, but the violent nature of this one called for concern. Not only was Mobad beaten, he also received threats to his life from some of the guys he met at the residence. Shortly after Mobad's post, one of his close friends corroborated the story from a hospital bed with video evidence of his injuries. In fact, not only did Mobad and his friends lose their phones, they were also stripped of valuables, including wristwatches and necklaces. No, my phone is with them. You understand? I'm a, I'm a boy, I'm cool. No, my worry. My worry. That's in the lane. Finishing, but you see what's going on, yeah? Now, Mali people and what was it called? The incident suggested that Marleyan Records was turning out to be a cult as opposed to a record label. And I think Mobad also got the cue and was planning his exit. But for now, he was still a Marleyan. However, he wasn't going to be for long. On October 25th, 2022, Mobad terminated his contract with Marleyan Records. Naturally, you'd expect him to be leaving the label due to the physical abuse and threats on his life. But his main reason for leaving was due to some unpaid royalties from monetized intellectual content and advances as agreed in his contract. Whether it was due to money or the alleged assault, one thing was clear. Mobad didn't feel like he was getting what he deserved and should be getting from Marleyan Records. By November, Mobad was back, this time with his own record label, which he called Immelinization. You would think Mobad was finally getting his life back after the issues he had experienced, but boy, that wasn't exactly the case. In January 2023, Bella Shmurda exposed some shocking facts about Mobad's situation. We all know Bella Shmurda's closeness to Mobad, so it shouldn't come as a shock when Bella said he knew about the mistreatment that Mobad had gone through with Marley and Records. He explained that things got worse to the point that Mobad almost committed suicide, if not for his girlfriend's intervention. At the point, me and Mobad were in an apartment and Mobad was like, he wants to jump from the upstairs because of this labor issue. But I will go hold this boy for window. Mobad don't almost jump on I my girlfriend just enter room, see Mobad sit down for window. Ah! Because of all these things, bruh, you can't you can't just keep going on that. And these people are just for me, there's nothing happening. Something is happening. At this point, one thing was clear. Mobad was already having mental health issues probably due to what he went through. Despite these setbacks, Mobad was back on his feet again and back to the studio to make his music. He began trying to work his way back up the music food chain, but as it turned out, it wasn't the end of the drama. In fact, it was just the beginning. The threats continued from Naira Marley's associates, and Mobad was fed up. The height of the issues, however, came in June, when he was shooting a music video with Zlatan who he had been working with since his departure from Marleyan Records. In a video of the incident that surfaced online, Mobad and Zlatan were on wheelchairs shooting a music video when Sam Larry and some guys surfaced behind them with canes in their hand, seemingly going after Mobad. If not for Zalatan's intervention, things could have gotten a lot worse, and Mobad wasn't simply going to let it slide. In the aftermath of the incident, he filed a petition to the Nigeria Police Force Criminal Investigation Department, clearly stating how he was attacked by Sam Larry and about 15 others, who were all armed, and although he was just slightly injured, they damaged most of the equipment for the shoot. Knowing Sam Larry had no direct connection to Mobad, many guessed that he was acting on the instructions of Naira Marley, who was very close to him. So, when the news of Mobad's death filled the internet, several fingers were pointed at the CEO of Marleyan Records. Just like a radioactive fallout, 
Naira Marley became the victim of threats from fans, insults, curses, and even promises by some people to get justice for whatever he did to Mobad. And the fingers were not only coming from fans, but also Mohbad's close associates, friends, and girlfriend. After his death, Mohbad's girlfriend revealed that her man never felt safe. It was almost as if he was always being followed. He was even trying to get his family to relocate seemingly out of fear. On Tuesday, September 12, 2023, Mobad went to the hospital on account of an ear infection. He was admitted that day for proper care, but as things turned out, Mobad lost consciousness later that day and did not regain it. Mobad's death came in the most vague and unclear circumstances, and at the moment, nothing is clear about his death. Despite the official story being his death was due to an ear infection, rumors have surfaced online of Mobad being hit by a charm while performing at a show in Ikorodu. The police have promised to act swiftly concerning the matter, following calls by people on social media for a proper investigation into the matter. However, it still begs the question, why wasn't Mobad's petition acted upon by the police at the time it was filed? Well, we should get more information about the case as investigations continue. And that's a wrap on the death of Mobad. What do you think caused Mobad's death? Was it Naira Marley or someone connected to Marleyan Records? Or do you believe his death was natural, as the initial reports claim? Let us know in the comment section below.